Safran Electronics and Defense has a strong presence here at Madex 2023 in South Korea. The French company is showcasing a wide range of naval systems, from naval optronics to navigation systems and decoy launchers. To learn more with me today is Franck Bonny, Naval Sales Manager at Safran. Frank, good morning. Good morning, uh, Xavier. So, Frank, first, uh, can you please uh, tell us about Safran's presence here in Korea? Yes, sure. Safran is uh, in Korea since uh, more than 15 years with uh, best-seller equipment like decoy launcher with uh, Dagai and also with inertial navigation system like Sigma 40. Frank, we are now standing next to uh, two optronic masts by Safran. Can you tell us uh, in more detail what they are and are they used uh, by the Aeroca Navy? Yes, sure. Uh, then we have surveillance mast and uh, attack mast here. Uh, the surveillance mast is installed on the Changobo KSS 3 submarine on the Batch 1 and Batch 2. And uh, you have here on the right the attack mast, subtronic mast, which is installed on the French submarine. And both masts are uh, night and day high performance masts uh, that uh, are uh, promoted here in Korea. Frank, these are some of your uh, inertial navigation systems, INS. The ROK Navy, several of their vessels are already using those uh, systems by Safran. Yes, exactly. Uh, in fact, we can say there are 200 of INSs Sigma 40 in Korea. Uh, these INS are using the ring laser gyro technology. Uh, it is uh, installed in Korea since uh, many years, more than 10 years. And Safran, uh, uh, 10 years ago, decided to move from on a new technology, uh, much more compact, robust and reliable, the HRG technology, the hemispheric resonating gyro. And this technology now is implemented in a uh, portfolio of I gyro and INS from Safran. And it is so accurate and so balanced at the atom level, then Thanks to that accuracy, we can achieve extremely high performance uh, in our INSs for submarine, which uh, is uh, the Blackonyx uh, equipment. And Argonyx here is now used in the Korean Coast Guard and in the Rock Navy fleet. It has been a, rec a recent success we had, and we are very pleased now to uh, have introduced the HRG technology in the Korean Navy. And uh, for the future, for sure, we know that the Navy have uh, more and more demanding uh, performance. And then for that very high performance, the Black Onyx and the Black Onyx Dual Core using the HRG technology allow to achieve performance of not one nautic mile per 10 days and even more. This is really the highest uh, technology capability. We are also uh, investing a lot into the MEMS technology which are uh, manufactured between Switzerland and Norway. And today, uh, this small IMU is using all Safran uh, MEMS technology in a very accurate and robust IMU uh, used for different uh, naval or land or air applications. Frank, I've been hearing a lot about the Canadian uh, CSP, so Future Pro Submarine Program. Could uh, Black Omnix uh, be the right fit for such requirement? Uh, exactly. The Canadian uh, project is extremely interesting because a Canadian uh, has a ge geographic situation requesting to be able to operate at up top north. And in addition to INS, for sure, for this Canadian uh, submarine, our optronic masts are perfectly fitting the Canadian requirement by non-penetrating mast, ensuring the safety of navigation of this submarine. And I would like also uh, to add that in terms of footprint, Safran, as a large worldwide company with 80,000 80, employees, has uh, thousands of people and many facilities in Canada, which could allow us to support any uh, shipyard, like here we meet at Madex, like uh, Hano Ocean or HHI uh, with a Canadian footprint which could allow to support our customer to have a footprint in Canada uh, uh, with Safran. 
Frank, you are also showcasing the latest systems in uh, Safran's uh, portfolio of optronic systems. Yes, exactly. We had the luck to bring all our new uh, and latest generation optronic system. The new uh, VG4 for like four sensor, uh, high definition camera, TV, infrared, and a sweeter channel as well, which is the tremendous channel allowing to look through moisture, humidity, and fog, which bring much more value for all our customers. And as well, the Passio XLR, the extra long range uh, EOTS of Safran, which has been uh, recently uh, offered to HHI and will be uh, integrated on Philippine Corvette and OPV. Safran Electronics and Defense is also an expert in the protection of uh, surface vessels for many years now. What is Safran's uh, philosophy in this regard? Our Safran philosophy is based on three pillars. We have the first pillar, which is to detect the threat at very far distance with a Vampire NG, the new generation of the Vampire. The former generation was used by the Rock Navy, the Vampire NB, and now we have developed the new one, which is act acting like an infrared radar. And this uh, very high performance IRST allow to detect from far distance threats like subsonic missile or hypersonic missile. This is the first pillar. The second pillar is the mean to identify what is the threat. The PASIO XLR has a so long range uh, capability. It can recognize and identify where the vampire NG can uh, detect. And the third pillar is in the frame of protection. The protection, uh, anti-missile protection with the Dagai, uh, which is equipping more than 25 ships here in Korea. And this Dagai will be upgraded by the NG, the new generation configuration, in the coming year. And uh, if necessary to have even more efficiency of protection with the latest generation of decoy, we have also the NGDS, which is now in equipping the French Navy, Singapore Navy, and has been selected by Canadian Navy for the future CSC uh, ship. Very Royal Frank, thank you very much. Thank you, Xavier.